Spartans, fresh off an upset of one number one ranked team, trying to do it again here today in back-to-back -back fashion. Welcome in to Indy's near northwest side, just off West 30th Street. That's where the football action will be hot and heavy here today when the seventh ranked University of St. Francis Cougars test the new number one ranked Marion University Knights. David Yoder starts at quarterback, replacing Josh Miller still with that high ankle sprain. Screens the ball to the left. He's got a catch by Kelsa, a little crossing pattern far sidelines, and out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So a good start for David Yoder. The Cougars have got their first first down of the ball game. Yoder looks, screens the ball to the left, and he's got a catch by Aaron Knight. Knight with two catches in Chicago, and uh, that is going to be his 14th of the season. Marion even better, by the way, 53% on third down conversions for the year. Third down to nine here. Yoder gives ground, looks right, looks left, steps up the pocket, throws and fires a strike. He's got a catch inside the 40-yard line to the 37. So a good play by Yoder delivering it over the middle. The seam was open that time, and a catch by Aaron Knight, and the chains will move downfield for St. Francis. Trips to the right now for St. Francis to the wide side. They work from the left side hash mark. Yoder with Campbell still in as the running back. They'll roll to the right side. Yoder stops, pumps once, throws over the middle. He's got Coleman. Coleman with a catch and a touchdown. 35 yards on the touchdown pass. Yoder on the money as Coleman just ran underneath it at the 11-20 mark. So that's exactly what the doctor ordered. And USF talked all week about being able to take advantage of certain matchups that they thought they were going to get against this secondary where USF had the advantage in speed and, and Austin Coleman did have the advantage on that play, was able to get a step and Yoder delivered a beautiful pass on the little semi roll to the near side of the, off the semi roll to the near side of the field. And here we go now. Weezy out of the shotgun. Looking, looking, has a lot of time. All day rolls to his right and there's another penalty flag as there's a sack though as the Cougars got in there. And dropped them down. We'll see what the Anthony Moore. That was Anthony Moore with a great pursuit. Down the ball is back at the two-yard line. They take the sack and take the play. And now Kyle Fox, who's averaging just under 43 yards a game a punt, he stands on the back line, Phil. The snap comes from the two. Cougars with 10 men up on the line of scrimmage. Here's the snap, and uh, he got it away. High sailing kick. And that one will be taken at midfield by Knight. Knight works to the 45 to the 40. Angles right side, trying to turn the corner. Jumps over one defender and brings it down close to the 33, maybe the 32-yard line. For second down and six. Yoder starting today at quarterback. He's thrown for one touchdown. Looks the throw. Pump steps up. Looks throws over the middle. He's got a catch at the 15-yard line. And Coleman runs into the end zone for a second touchdown of the ball game. That one will be good for 27 yards and a touchdown at the 9.05 mark. And the Cougars have jumped on number one ranked Marion early at 13-0. Well, that time it was really more of a seam route and, you know, an opening. That, that, Coleman did not take advantage of his speed that time so much, but I think maybe they were respecting the fact that he could blow right by that corner. Easy out of the shotgun now, two protectors in. He's got to Jacob Fleet, one of the two wide to the left motion near side by Brown. Weezy looking, looking, pumps. Now hit from behind, the ball is free. And a scramble for it. Let's see who comes up with it at the 23-yard line. It's going to bring up fourth down at worst. And it'll be recovered by the Knights, and they'll bring in Kyle Fox once again to kick the ball away. And Joe, that was just, there was no blitz on that play. That was all Kevin Bush. USF controlled the line of score. There, Joe. Three players on five. You wouldn't think you'd be able to do that, but a player like Kevin Bush was able to collapse the pocket, got behind Weesey, hit him just as he wanted to deliver the football. And, and uh, here we go again. You know, Mary having to give up the ball early. Back to the Cougar. The other side of that coin is that uh, Weesey, nowhere to throw that ball. Good downfield coverage by USF. Rushes on Fox, low snap, got it away. End over end kick, and uh, Knight lets that hit at the 45 and just backs away from it. Takes a Marion roll inside the 30, inside the 20, all the way down to the 15, still rolling down to the 10 yard line is where it'll finally come to a stop. Somewhere on, on maybe Ripley's Believe It or Not, where a team surpassed 200 yards of penalty oh, for the game. Second down and 14 from the goal line. A throw to the left. That's Knight. Did he get a foot in bounds? He's got the catch up across the 17-yard line and brings up a much more manageable third down call for USF. So improving field position for St. Francis now from their own 22. And uh, Yoder checking off. Looks to his right. 
play clock, if I can find it, down to four, he's got to hurry. And now, here looks near side and gives the ball to Scully. Scully pivots, lost the football, Murray will have it inside the 15, go down to the 10. The Cougars need to reach their own 35 to convert on this big third down call. Too wide to the right, too wide to the left, the wide side of the field. Yoder with a play clock at five, still trying to get the play called in with three, with two. And the snap, he's got it. Looks left is coming, throws in the middle, he's got a catch by Coleman. Back pedals across the 40, up to the 45 yard line. Improving field position now with 325 remaining first quarter. Yoder drops back, looks near side, pushes the ball. There's a fingertip catch near side. Knight's got it, and he's down into Marion territory to the 44-yard line. Still 13 on the play clock. As Yoder waiting for the snap, he's got motion Coleman to the near side. And they're looking on a reverse, and it's going to be a halfback option pass. Kelsall's there. He's got the catch, and he's got a touchdown. And let's see if it was that Nathan <laughs> Scully. Scully was the, the goat on the previous drive after fumbling the football. And that play completely befuddled Marion. We had a handoff going to the far side of the field. And then the ball was pitched back to, to, your, to your wide receiver who stands there and delivered a pretty decent pass to Kelsaw up the field who stood wide open up at the five-yard line. And he then walked into the end zone. And under center now, the eye formation, Weezy, and he's got the motion by Napsinger, gives the Lake, Lake bangs, spins, did he get a cross, looking touchdown. It'll be a touchdown run, Kevin Lake at the 951 mark. Scully's come in on the slot near side. Here's the snap, Yoder looking to throw, steps up, throws to the right, he's got a wide open Aaron Knight, and he's up the midfield. First and 10, USF, they'll move the chains again with 8.48 remaining until halftime. First and 10 from the 39 now. Yoder, the throw, screens right side. Kelso gets by one, 35, 30, 25, 20, in a foot race and knocked out of bounds inside the 15-yard line of Marion. Well, he may have stepped out of bounds back around the 16. That's where they mark the football right now. It'll be first and 10 as the Cougars on the move again. Campbell at the left half, Andre Turner the fullback in the goal line offense. Under center is Yoder. Yoder's got motion right to left and looks to give to Turner. Turner plowing straight ahead and into the end zone, touchdown. Andre Turner, five yards, a first rushing touchdown of the day by St. Francis, and they're back to a two touchdown lead over number one ranked Marion. Well, that's great to see the uh, senior back, Andre Turner, getting that touchdown. Clock is moving at 114-113, tight formation now as they want to run the ball and motion behind the line of scrimmage again. We see under center, looks to Lake. Lake spins and near the goal line. Did he get any did? Officially be a two-yard touchdown run by Kevin Lake, his second of the day. And that'll make it 28 to 20 now. Exactly one minute remains until intermission. And Yoder with Campbell lined up behind him, rolls to his right side, wants to throw, sets his feet, fires. There's a catch at the 39, that was good for a first down, and only took six seconds off the clock. That was Cam Smith, the uh, right at Dwinger High School with a nice sideline route, moving the chains on first down for USF, and like you said, only took six, six seconds, and USF in their hurry-up offense. Improving field position now at the 39 for St. Francis. Yoder again, waiting for the snap, play clock at 18. Got plenty of time, wants to throw again, steps up the pocket, dumps it right side, and has got a catch inside Marion territory at the 48, and the three more yards by Knight brings it down inside the 45 to the 44. 29 seconds left, we've got a timeout left. The time is the factor, Coleman is in, sent wide to the right. Other than that, goal line offense very tight. Then they need probably another 10 yards at least. Yoder, play fake, throws, and the, this one is on the way. And it's intercepted. Let's see if it's going to be a way to pick inside the 10. Marion's got it. That ball failed on Yoder. Stay together. Go take it now. That's Kevin Donnelly. Uh, I could see him doing that, and I'm, I'm sure it was an emotional moment for him. He recognizes the gravity of this football game. I mean, there's a lot riding on this. If USF wins this game, it's not just the historical accomplishment, uh, but the opportunity to be in the driver's seat to win the conference. So that's big. USF hasn't won it for a couple of years. 
It'll be first and 10 for the Knights. They've got it at their own 22-yard line. Shotgun formation for Adam Luisi. Looking to hand to Lake. Lake uh, will try to work back to the left. Got running room across the 25-30. He's behind the defense. Midfield and drops from behind. They did not get containment to the defensive right side and Kevin Lake made him pay. As far as when they pass and when they run, the question is can we get our right personnel on the field? Easy to throw again. The rush is coming. He throws over the middle. He's got a kick and a touchdown. trying to reach the 48 yard line. They were perfect on third downs in the first half. Six of six. Play clock inside of 10. Yoder might be checking off again as he walks behind the line of scrimmage. Rush is coming. Defensive right side. Yoder steps up. He can run. He'll throw late and throws near side. He's got a catch by Knight for a first down at the 45 yard line. Aaron Knight with his seventh catch on the day and USF stays perfect, Joe, on third down. Now seven for seven. Knight is uh, wide to the right, the lone wide out. He's been the featured receiver at times today. Yoder Bell looks and looks, the pressure's coming, and looks to throw late, and throws high, and he's got a catch by Knight. As he took it away from the Marion defender, and he's got a first down. That's making something out of nothing. Joe, I can guarantee you half the people in the stadium were looking down, marking their scorecards on that one, because it looked for the world like Yoder was going down, but he showed some great ability to keep a little bit of balance there and found Aaron Knight, who makes a pretty nice catch. Good for the first down. USF now 8-for-8 eight eight on third down. Cam Smith in wide to the left. Here is Yoder. Throws, dumps, looks for it. And Cam calls off. Oh, So USF has to respect the uh, the play action so much because Lake is such a great back that it's opening them up those quick passes to the edge off the play action. Marion trying to take their first lead of the day, a little stop and go moving. Boy, I tell you what, Lake. And the touchdown saving the 15 by St. Francis. And I didn't see who it was, but he gave him a little stop and go move at the on the right side defensively, and boy, that just fills the Cougar defender. Yosefovsky, big leg, but he's just three of eight in field goal attempts. 0 for 1 last week, long of 41 yards this year. This one will be, let's call it 30 yards for the lead on the way, end over end, and good. 30 yard field goal at the 640 mark. So the intercession gives and leads to the lead, first lead of the day for Marion. They're up three on visiting St. Francis 31 to 28. Campbell picks up seven, second down in short. Now uh, checking off is Yoder once again, still a lot of time, still 15 on the play clock. Looking uh, to the far sides. And looking to Josh Miller, by the way, with the helmet off. He's the uh, guy that's actually uh, wagging in what the play call will be. And looks to Campbell again. Campbell running, cuts to the left, got the first down. He's got to the 40. Still on his feet across the 45, up to the 48. And that's the best Antoine Campbell run of the second half. It's first and 10 from the 27. St. Francis down three now on the road against number one ranked Marion. Play action fake. Yoder wants to throw. Rush is coming. Throws. He's got a man. There's a catch for a touchdown. Cam Smith took it away from two defenders. Cam Smith at 6-1 and 27 yards on the strike. Yoder through the air at the 315 mark. Advantage St. Francis. Cam Smith with a great catch between two defenders. Heading, you know, he had the safety on his back. I should say the corner on his back, and he heads back towards the middle of the field where David Yoder delivered the ball in the perfect position. The safety could not get there quite in time. Cam Smith comes up with the ball, goes to the end zone. Big, big touchdown score for USF. Cam Smith's first ever touchdown. So Marion starts at their own 33-yard line. Two protectors in for Adam Weese. And he works out of the gun now, and uh, still time on the play clock, but he'll run the play, wants to throw. Rush is coming, he's spun around, and... Uh, Keeps on his feet and is going to be dropped for a loss back inside the 30. And uh, again, was that cowball that, that 
Slowed him up enough at one's Brody Cowboy, and uh, it'll be a loss as it is, a sack of three yards. Well, I think it was Quinn Doan that finally got that tackle, Joe. He slowed him up at least. Well, I mean, he had four or five guys in here. Skip showed really great strength on my head to, to stay on his feet. We see did. 2.38 on the clock, late in the third quarter. They'll run the ball now, and here's a new number in, and there's a ball. Big run up the middle, first down. And they've got a chance to get a touchdown. It's Nathan Jones. Jones still on his feet inside the 20 and down. And it's Corey Smith that saved the touchdown. Empty backfield. Here's Weezy. Wants to throw. Looks over the middle. Looking, he's got a catch for the touchdown. One great touchdown. That might be Anthony Freeman. And it's damaged. Yoder trying to work his magic again. Rush is coming as he steps up and throws a strike. And Knight's got it across the 35 to the 36. And that'll be good for a first down. Kelso back in up on uh, the wing to the left side. And split wide of him is going to be Aaron Knight. Now Kelso in motion left to right behind the line of scrimmage. Resets. The one Campbell. Campbell running hard. First down. Tripped up. He got to the 40 and falls forward down to about the 38-yard line. And look who's down there leading the way with a block was Akeem Kelso. They work from the 35-yard line. Crowd coming alive here on the Marion side. Third down and long. St. Francis trying to get it inside the 30 to about the 27. As Yoda throws, and there's a reach out for the ball. Let's see, they roll with a catch and a first down for Aaron Knight. What a play as they somehow drug a foot. Got a toe inbounds. Well, and we haven't talked much about Knight, except you called his name now 10 times for complete passes. That is his 10th catch on the day. We mentioned he's just one for two on the year. One block kick. He's got a 32-yarder. This one for the tie from 27 yards. Kick is on the way, and it is good, and we're in a 38-38 tie at the 12-30 mark. They talk about pad level and being able to knock off your pins. Well, you learn that in the third grade. you got to stay low. And he'll run again. A little stop and go move. And he breaks a tackle. Lost oh, it. And St. Francis oh. had a shot at it. But I believe Marion comes on the loose ball. As Quinn Doan was looking to come up with a ball. And Jamel Green is, or I should say, it was Alan Richardson who had a shot at it. But Marion dodges a huge bullet as Lake coughed it up. Wheezy out of the shotgun. Second down in short. And uh, here's a pass, and this comes, and it's catch. The 15 to the 10, and it'll be a touchdown. As Nathan Jones, did he get into the end zone? No indication yet, and he's out of bounds inside. He did not score. But nonetheless, it works the USF's favor. If maybe we can just get something to pop here. Jones stays in, tight to the left side. They'll give the Lake, and Lake looking, and he's, there is a penalty flag. Touchdown, the indication at the 637 mark. And boy, I tell you, the Marion coaches are running all over on the sidelines here, trying to get their team's attention. As Joe steps up, throws, has got a catch on the first down. Coleman dives to the 45, up ahead to the 46-yard line. Campbell picks up five for his St. Francis. Now they've got second and five coming up. Exactly four minutes remaining in regulation. Yoder looking at Campbell again, breaks it off to the right, turns, he's got the first down, turns his back, brings it inside the 30 to about the 28, maybe the 27, in fact, of Marion. Little time, possessions, everything, weighing a ton now in the dying moments of regulation. Second down and 10, they can pick up a first down at the six. Kelso in motion, right to left. Yoder wants to throw, throws to a spot. He's got Kelso with a fingertip wow. catch at the 12-yard line. He might be down to the 11. Full house by check it. It is the goal line offense with Andre Turner at fullback. And Campbell at left half. Yoder motion, right to left. They'll give it off to Andre Turner. Tripped up, he got to the five. That should give him a first down with 42 seconds remaining. Still a seven-point lead by Marion here at home. It's first and goal from the five-yard line. They stay on the goal line offense. Cam Smith in wide to the right. Yoder on the center. Play clock at 15, game clock at 24. They're taking it down. Here's the give, and Andre Turner cuts it up, fights his way inside the two, got pushed back. And now with 15 seconds, there will be a timeout taken by St. Francis. They'll have one remaining. Right, and they'll be it. about two yards away from uh, trying to get into a tie or a win. Let's see if they try to come up with a little trickery here now and third and goal from the three. Yoder with 13 on the play clock. Motion by Campbell. They toss the ball to him and he's going to be throwing the ball late. And we'll 
Trying to launch the ball into the end zone. Now everybody's going to be asking for a grounding call here. No, I didn't even see a flag. Did you even see a flag? Yeah, that's like happened a couple of times yeah. today. Two plays, 10 seconds. Cougars at the 12-yard line, one timeout. Joe saw it up in the slot to the left side. They got three wide to the left. Cougars trying to make a play to come back and at least get into a tie to send it to overtime. 10 seconds on the clock, so you got to be worried about that. And I don't think they've got any timeouts left. One timeout. One timeout left. remaining. Yoder waiting with nine on the play clock. Takes the snap, throws to the right, and that's a foot down. Gave the play defensively. They came across, and uh, with the right hand, that was Dimitri Oliver who knocked it away, and it comes down to one chance. USF has no timeouts. Got to go into the end zone. Need six on this snap. Tight punch, trips to the left. Let's see what uh, Kevin Nally comes up on this fourth down call. Trying to get within one. Yoder looking, looking. Scrambles to his left. Throws into the end zone. That one. No Disappointing ending to a great football game and uh, last play of the game, Yoder extended uh, extended that play, rolled out of the pocket, had Ken Smith over there in the end zone. He was the only receiver in the vicinity of that pass, but the ball got launched just a little high and a little long. Smith no chance to make a play on that and uh, you know Marion Marion wins a big big game here at home.